Hello, today we're going to present our marketing brief on type 2 diabetes. We are doing a awareness and prevention campaign on type 2 diabetes and we're going to do it through SawStack. To determine our strategy, we carried out a situational analysis starting with an external analysis which combines PEPFIL and SWOT. Diabetes currently accounts for 9% of the NHS's budget, 80% um, of which treats complications. Um, however, these costs are only likely to increase. So, for example, if um, the UK withdraws from the single market, it would have to pay duties and administrative costs on any medical supplies that it imports. And as the graph shows, with diabetes continuing to increase, um, the amount of medical supplies is only likely to increase as well. And it's undeniable that Brexit has caused economic uncertainty and any further economic decline will only intensify the pressure that com currently limits the NHS. More than half of the adult population are obese or overweight and this is a significant factor in prevalence of diabetes. According to Diabetes UK, 80% of someone's risk of developing type 2 diabetes is due to obesity and furthermore few people who are diagnosed are diagnosed before the age of 40 which again demonstrates that the di disease is preventable and that costs are only likely to increase without the intervention. Internet penetration has extended the ability to reach customers because um, the internet is not limited by geography and interactions can happen more quickly so a study in 2018 found that 99% of 15 to 34 year olds use the internet and 54% of adults um, in the UK use the internet for health related information. 62% watch videos online and Facebook, the most popular social media site, um, which is used by 80% of people in the UK aged between 15 and 34, and Instagram, which is used by over 50%, both um, support video content, um, which supports video marketing, um, which is a continuing trend. Cisco found that video traffic will constitute 82% of all internet traffic by 2022. Um, and this is because videos are more visually engaging, um, which increases the, a positive user experience. Video content is more visually engaging. Um, and so that adds to a more positive user experience and this can add to SEO because search engines favour the use of optimised video content which will be facilitated further by the use of artificial intelligence which is more able to accurately capture videos which makes their content more searchable and the use of internet and online gaming are linked to sedentary lifestyles which is a risk factor of diabetes. We believe that carrying out this campaign provides the NHS with the opportunity to reduce its costs related to diabetes which can then be used um, to retain or recruit staff for example. Um, but of course using social media platforms creates a reliance on third parties such as Facebook which subjects the campaign to the possibility of questions or cyber attacks on those platforms. Furthermore we carried out a brief internal analysis outlining the strengths and weaknesses of the campaign, so our target group is extremely accessible. So, as I said, 98% are of the target audience uses the internet, um, which increases potential impressions. And with our budget, the support from the NHS, who are already an established source of information for many, and this promotes our SEO. Um, however, our scale is limited, so we've created a typical customer profile um, to provide a focus for our target audience. So a typical customer that we are targeting is from the north of England, where diabetes is more prevalent, is 18 to 24, um, and therefore yet to develop the condition. They live a lonely, sedentary lifestyle, but are health conscious and are very active on social media. From the analysis, we have identified some key issues um, facing the NHS, which we aim to tackle through our campaign. So even though diabetes is preventable, obesity is um, cause of around 80% of those who develop, develop type 2 diabetes, which demonstrates the need of a behaviour change. And the increasing rate of diabetes diagnoses um, means that NHS costs are only likely to increase, which not only is detrimental to the NHS, but also the wider environment, the wider society, and there's a lack of awareness, which means that may go undiagnosed. For our 
objectives, we created a smart goal to serve as checkpoints in our journey and help us measure our growth. For specific, we aim to reach approximately 5 million people with diabetes awareness within a year. We will measure diabetes awareness through different methods such as questionnaires and public forums to assess awareness of the condition among the general public. The measure will include me assessing awareness of signs and symptoms of diabetes, risk factors, attitudes towards helping, help seeking, awareness of NHS resources available, awareness of the link between diabetes and age, and awareness of the C-peptide or fasting plasma glucose test to screen for diabetes. We will also be evaluating if retention rates on our website stay consistent and effective, which will be around above 60%. With our sufficient budget of 350,000 pounds, our marketing strategies, which will be further explained, are attainable and realistic while still being ambitious and challenging. We also aim to have a return on investment. To achieve this, we only need 23% of our conversions as the average person with diabetes costs the NHS £2,500. Our marketing methods will include strategies such as creating a website and implementing search engine optimization, to name a few. This is the most valuable traffic source of our business. This plan is, best, is the best way for us to increase organic traffic and awareness, which is the main reason and goal for our campaign. We aim to achieve this in one year from January to December. Short term, we aim to publish our website and create online advertisements ready to be introduced into the public. Our long term goals are to introduce monetary marketing campaigns such as donations and merchandise selling, measure the effectiveness of our campaigns and keep all channels of communication with our consumers consistent. So taking into consideration all our SMART goals, our objective is in a year we aim to increase awareness of type 2 diabetes by reaching approximately 5 million people. This will be done through focusing on re-optimizing existing content and creating new marketing and communication methods, which will be seen in an increase of social media interaction and the general public feedback. Now we would be explaining the, stra uh, the strategy in SOSAC, where we would be uh, talking about the target audience, um, the customer journey, the budget plan, and the seven Ps. So this is a table of our customer journey, um, starting from January to March. Um, we will we'll try to share our video and website all over social media platforms such as Facebook. Um, the aim of this is to increase customer awareness of diabetes, type 2 diabetes in general. And from April to June is the consideration phase. Um, and this is when we'll be sharing our advert on Google. Um, this is because it can enable PPC, which is the pay per click. And from July to September, it's the purchase phase. So during this period, we'll be accepting donations um, for people that do have type 2 diabetes already. And we'll be creating merchandise. So if anyone would like to purchase, purchase it, we'll be using the money for that as well. And from October to November, it's the retention phase. Um, this is when we'll be creating like a forum, a question forum online. And um, this is in order to allow people to ask their questions and then we can um, uh, um, help answer them. Um, this will create customer understanding and company insight. So that's really good to have. And lastly, in December, it's the advocacy phase. And this is when we'll be keeping up um, with existing campaigns. Uh, the, the benefit of this is to make sure that all the information that we provide people is always up to date with other campaigns. This is the marketing budget that we have uh, decided on doing where we have £350,000 in total um, and we split it between website and SEO, content marketing, contextual advertising and PPC, other online tactics, social media and email where uh, I will be explaining it in the next slide. Um, we have uh, found out that 832,435 people in Manchester uh, do not have diabetes uh, from age uh, 20 to 40, where this is who we're targeting. Whereas um, we calculated that 1.5% is the rate for CTR, uh, where the number of clicks would add up to 12,487 in total. Um, the conversion rate that we calculated is 5%, where in total, uh, the number of people who would actually go on our website or go on Instagram and follow us or donate or buy something from our website and so on, uh, is uh, equal to 624. This is basically the marketing budget uh, said into detail, where the website and SEO is around 25% of our budget, which is 
uh, equal to 87,500, which is basically what we're paying in our website. The content marketing, which is the information on any website that is not promoted, uh, is 12%, which is going to be equal to 40,000 pounds, whereas the contextual advertising and PPC, which is basically the advertising that goes on other websites, uh, such as the NHS and any uh, person who does like uh, blogs about uh, diabetes is equal to 7%, which is going to be around 24,500 pounds. Uh, whereas the other online tactics, uh, which is basically the collaboration with other influencers that I will be speaking on later, is 10%, which is going to be equal to £35,000. To conclude, uh, there's the social media and email. The social media is going to be through YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, which is going to be 28%, and that will cost 98000 whereas the emails that we send is going to be 18% of our budget, and that will be equal to £63,000. In terms of our communication mix, our place will be online. Um, the price will be, it's a free advert, but the, dona the donations are welcome on the website. The product will be the video itself about diabetes awareness and prevention. The promotion will be, again, it was online advert, which will be targeted on social media sites such as Instagram, Facebook, and will be also posted on YouTube. We will also have a website, uh, which will contain a forum, um, blog, and just a place where people can go if they have questions or tips. Uh, people we're targeting will be people in Manchester ages 18 to 40. And packaging of the web, in terms of the website will be, it's easy to use, accessible, we're gonna use lots of color, and it will be engaging as well. So the segmentation and targeting strategy is basically, we have uh, organized in four segments, where it's gonna be geographic, demographic, psychographic, and behavioral. Uh, the Jew um, is going to be targeted to those in Manchester, uh, as we have found out that those in Manchester are the most likely to have diabetes around the UK, whereas we're going to target those 18 to 40 years old, uh, middle class, and mainly uh, parents, as they would, they, they would want to raise awareness for their children, whereas uh, the psychographic would be those with a health conscious and those who exercise um, are not aware of the risks of uh, diabetes, and the behavior will be uh, those who are active on social media as we are targeting through Instagram and Facebook mainly. Uh, whereas also there would be a primary and secondary segment. The primary one would be those who do not have diabetes um, in Manchester, whereas the secondary one would be those around the whole of Manchester. And we would mainly want um, people to share our Facebook vi uh, video through YouTube, email, Facebook, and Instagram whereas also on our website and on the NHS website. So the creative strategy would be a, co a collaboration with influencers. And the first one would be Jamie Oliver, as he did an, an advertisement about diabetes. Uh, so we believe that he would be willing to collaborate with us again. Whereas um, an influencer on Instagram that is well known, the Food Magic, Food Magic which has around 335k followers, and she does nutrition uh, where she has uh, like, she understands a lot about diabetes and she her page is basically about health. The communication strategy that we would do would be a Q&A form on our website where we would have our customers ask us questions on our website and we provide with the answers where we would also have blogs about diabetes and health and on our website where we would be replying to emails and comments that are posted on Facebook and Instagram. Whereas also we would answer through private messaging on Facebook and Instagram. In terms of tactics, we've come up with the specifics on how to reach um, our main objective through weekly goals. Focusing on three main strategies, which is online advert, advert, website, and influencer marketing. The first few months from January to March will focus on planning. Weeks one through four will focus on background research and customer research. Researching existing markets, which people in Manchester are aware of diabetes, which and how much we aim to reach, um, along with researching diabetes itself and gaining knowledge on the matter. We'll also have our initial meeting with NHS and as well as um, developing the storyboard for the video and um, gathering blogs, links, and other relevant content for the website. Five to eight will be focused on project planning. These weeks will be used to further develop the video, as well as start designing the website, including figure out the right templates 
and this will also be the time where we launch our social media page, also release a small teaser video, as well as start gathering and contacting influencers or celebrities to collaborate on the projects. Uh, on the last few weeks, we'll be focused on the project launch, so this will be on the official video release, and we'll also be finish up, finishing up the website design, and as well as releasing the website. We'll also be focusing on building influencer relationships and figuring out um, their individual contributions or collaborations that we can do together. April will be mainly focused on anal analysis and reflection. Weeks one to four will mainly focus on launching and developing influencer campaign reach whilst continuously sharing content. We'll also be continuously um, updating our website portfolio and as I said, develop influencer campaign. This is the time where we'll also track our status and KPI, which is key performance index through Heatwave, social media comments, and we'll be sharing content. Weeks five to eight will be focused on merch. So this is when we're gonna design the merch, um, have development meetings, gathering designs, um, having customer feedback on which designs work best and things like that. And then on the weeks nine to 13, which would be the third phase of our launch would be the merch release. And this is as well as continuously video sharing. Uh, we'll also do an SEO check, which will be going through making sure our content is relevant, uh, having relevant keywords as well, and updating the content uh, continuously so that we are still relevant. In July, September, we'll be focusing on debrief. The first six weeks will be basically a debrief of what we've done and what we can do. This will include time and cost tracking, goals tracking and report, so what goals have we met, have we met them, and what other goals can we do in the future. And we'll also have another merch launch, as well as website updates. So again, we'll be continuously updating our website. For new information, week seven to 13 will be the charity introduction art on our website. So this will be um, a campaign to introduce um, donations that are available to be made with people that go on the website, and as well as bringing more influencers to collaborate on the project. So October to November, this will be the outreach analysis. So the first few weeks will be uh, developing the survey and checking our, again, continuously checking website, sharing the video, things like that. And we'll develop the survey so that we can bring them out to people and see what, they, what the video has done for them and what has the impact been. The last few weeks of November will be distributing the survey and gathering the, the data so that we can analyze it. The last month, in December, we'll be mainly focused on reflection. So the first few weeks, we'll have our final NHS meeting, and we'll basically come together and see what we've done and what we can do further. And we'll also continuously share the video and continue our customer feedback, just so we have that, keep that relationship. The last final weeks will be the final analysis report on outreach and campaign, and basically a, a reflection of what we've done, what we can do better, and um, further campaigning if necessary. And the two types of adverts that we'll be creating are um, one, a video, and two, a website. Uh, the video will basically be a short, catchy song, no longer than a minute, shareable amongst all social media platforms. It will be a memorable song containing um, information of type 2 diabetes. The video will be informing relatable storyline, highlighting the effects of type 2 diabetes on the day-to-day -day living, and the effects that, um, of the individuals and loved ones. This is because it'll be relatable for people when they watch it. However, the, the website is meant to be more formal and inf informing. We'll still have all relevant information about type 2 diabetes, but it will contain um, statistics and clear information um, so that it's easy to use and easy to understand. And we'll try as much as we can to um, provide as much information on the website. However, if people feel like they can't answer their queries from our website, we will also have the NHS number linked down below in case they need to directly talk to the NHS. As part of our control section of our soft stack analysis, um, we will be initiating KPI, which are key performance indicators to evaluate how our marketing campaign has gone. Um, so in terms of our social media campaign, um, we'll be using social media to collect uh, queries, complaints and suggestions uh, from the public about our marketing campaign. At the bottom of our website, we will have questions um, for the audience about whether this was a good website or where we can improve. Uh, we will also have a live chat on the website um, 
to help consumers with any issues. Website should also be uh, mobile friendly um, as mobiles are the main resource for searching for health problems. In terms of advertisement, we will be using AB multivariate testing to an analyse how our advertisements have been impactful. We can also analyse this through our click-through rate and through heat maps. Following is the contingency procedure, which we will be implementing in the case of a social media crisis. So in terms of a social media crisis, um, we will need to have a social media backup um, as much information about the crisis should be attained with minimal response given until such has been done. Uh, the contingency plan should also be followed with the appropriate time responses.